Hi, this is George Cow, and I'm here at the Sutro Baths in San Francisco, California. And uh, as I was reflecting on this amazing scenery, I'm looking at how the foundations that have been built here uh, is providing lots of enjoyment, um, relaxation for lots of people, even after decades where it's not been officially used. Um, and it's also even providing an, an ecosystem for, for birds and other wildlife around here. And it's against the turbulent you know, ra- waves of the Pacific Ocean. And it just got me thinking about the foundations of our lives. And I want to invite you to think in this video, I mean, as, think with me as I talk through what the foundations are that I am building, that I have built to some degree and I'm building further in the coming year as we are transitioning right now into a new year. Um, So let me share with you what my foundations are that I'm working on and then that may uh, inspire you to, to, to think about and build yours more mindfully. So the first foundation I have would be relationships, my closest relationships. Uh, uh, whether it's with family or friends or specifically here I'm thinking about my life partner um, and how uh, relationships that are um, nurtured provide us a way to keep growing in virtues because relationships are a rich source of uh, potential uh, conflict uh, but also a rich source of learning how to love others and learning more about others. So I think it helps us grow into virtues more and also relationships when they are um, nurtured provide us some stability for us to grow our true livelihood, our, uh, the way that we serve the world and, and are um, supported financially as a result and financially in many other ways as a result. And in my relationships, um, what I am, my, my top three values that I'm clarifying right now are staying is the first uh, value, which means to stay no matter what in, in the relationship that I want to nurture, that I have nurtured, stay. Uh, the second value is affection. So showing warmth and kindness and love to the other person, exchanging that kind of um, emotions with the other person and then curiosity curiosity about uh, learning more about that other person uh, whoever I'm talking about and also curiosity in if there's a particular conflict uh, to get curious about how we can grow stronger in the relationship as a result of that conflict okay and the second area that I'm working on um, is true livelihood which I define as to earn an honest living providing a much needed service uh, you know in the world that allows that allows me to grow personally spiritually and um, support myself my, and my family so uh, with with regards oh and also to where I can show my human empathy and love and I purposely put that in because I think increasingly robots are going to take over our jobs but something that robots uh, will something that's going to be very difficult for robots to take over if ever is human empathy and love and if we can practice that more and more in our jobs and in our professions uh, we will become more and more uh, irreplaceable to others um, and in terms of my values for true livelihood I put um, empathy as a value that I'm continually cultivating excellence to doing the best work that I can possibly do and innovation so continually being willing to reinvent myself to serve um, my my audience better and better and better Okay, and then third uh, area that I'm building is what I call mindful chores. And this is again relating to the home. You know, um, we all have chores that we we must do, whether it's cleaning or cooking or organizing or, you know, whatever it may be. And if we can do our chores with um, a thought that, you know what? I can bring prayerfulness to it, I can bring mindfulness to it, then even doing mundane chores can be a spiritually growing experience. And lastly, I put my area of priority and foundation is my content. And what I mean by content is to keep sharing 
my best knowledge and ex expertise and experience um, in the areas of authentic marketing, joyful productivity, holistic success, and spiritual growing. And when it comes to my content, uh, that area, my top values are to be consistent, to be consistent uh, so that I don't get too perfectionistic and I keep growing because I notice when I do content, I grow myself. And um, if I'm lucky, that also helps other people because that's my intention, certainly. To be consistent, to be helpful, and to be engaging. Those are my three values for content. Uh, helpful, of course, is to, to make things like videos and articles that are helpful for others to grow and to benefit them. And, uh, and um, en engaging, to try to learn how to make my content more and more fun, entertaining to watch so that it's not, it's not so boring. <laughs> anyway, I hope that this uh, has been an interesting video. Uh, you know, this is unusual. I usually you know, show myself, but here is such an amazing scenery. I just wanted to show you the Sutro Baths in San Francisco in the Presidio uh, Park. And uh, there's my little dog buddy, very sweet little dog. And with that, I want to wish you an amazing transition into the new year. Uh, or if you're watching this in the middle of the year, I want you to know that it is always possible to start again and again in building our foundations so that we can provide a life that is of benefit to others as well as growing ourselves in the ways that matter the most. Be well. Until the next video, I wish you mindfulness in continually building your foundations.